boy, what a what a direct we had last week. Uh, if you haven't noticed, uh, if you hadn't been paying attention, there was a Nintendo Direct on the first of the, uh, the first of this month. And what it is is the last uh, direct before the game comes out next month. Of course, that's what I'm talking about. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. And we got revealed the last three characters. For now, I'll I'll bring back why I say for now in a bit. But the first one we had, first of the three new characters we had. So we had. So we have an Echo character, uh, an original character, and a character that made us all say, what the F? Hold, hold. The first one is the Echo character, Ken Masters. Now, Ken, Ryu, we all know that history between them. Ken has been, has been Ryu's Echo Fighter ever since Street Fighter 2 came out. So you know the history goes that far back. So when we got to see Ken actually take out Little Mac, like he would take out Balrog in, in Street Fighter, I don't know if I want to say it was a it was a big deal at that point, but come on, who didn't like to see <laughs> Little Mac take a beating once in a while? And then just get launched into what? Launched into the scoreboard, like into the jumbotron. That was funny. And a lot like, uh, a lot like before, a lot like uh, the history between these two, Ken and Ryu. Ken has a lot of Ryu's moves. You know, he's got the Hadouken. He's got the Shoryuken. Of course, his arms blazing. He's got the spinning Tatsubaki Sanpukyaku, which is still a hard thing to pronounce. I'm not Japanese. No offense. But he, we were introduced to an interesting, uh... <laughs> I, I don't want to say interesting. I want to say an excruciating Final Smash. If you've seen it, you know how painful that is. But just as we were about to calm down about Ken, in comes... The Pokemon. And this Pokemon is Incineroar. Now, we've had Pokemon come in. We've had Pikachu and Jigglypuff in the original Super Smash Brothers. In Melee, we had Pichu and Mewtwo. In Brawl, we had the Pokemon Trainer with Charizard, Ibizar, and Squirtle. And we were also introduced to Lucario. And in the last one, for the Wii U and the 3DS, we were giving Greninja. I still like Greninja. Just be careful out there when I go online. If you see me play Greninja, you're in trouble. Anyway, back to Incineroar. And Incineroar is... Incineroar in amplifies... <laughs> Wrestling as it is, like with the WWE uh, and formerly the ECW, the WCW, uh, other uh, professional wrestling leagues, and some backstreet and, and some backyard ones, and you see what kind of a guy he is. I mean, he especially has the darkest lariat move, but you can't have the darkest lariat and not have. Malicious Moonsault, his Z-move from Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, <clears throat> that's all fun and all. And especially how he takes out Ken after he goes, So, you want to play fire with fire, huh? He just gets wrecked. And it's still funny to see uh, the villager, Bowser Jr., and King Karul come into the ring in order to face Incineroar. Especially after what happened to Ken and Mac beforehand. And I think it was just because they were going to go after Mac because they all had boxing gloves. That being said, we were introduced to a character that made us go uh, WTF. Like, what the F is this? 
I mean, first shows off Luigi and a bunch of Yoshis, a little bit uh, stunned. You have Mario just walking up. And also we see his piranha plant. Wait, what? It comes out, and I'm thinking, okay, why are we showing a piranha? Bam, bam, bam. Yes, piranha plant is confirmed as one of the five, uh, one of the possibly five Super Smash Bros. <laughs> newest characters that's going to come out in starting January uh, for the next five months. So we're going to get more characters in. Uh, we're st I'm still holding out hope for Shante. I highly doubt we're going to get Liu Kang in there. Uh, out of experience. That being said, we were also introduced to the last bit. The campaign mode, the adventure mode, however you pronounce it. The World of Light, where you have all 75, 76, 74 Smash characters be turned to spirits. Except for one. And it was captivated by probably one of the most beautiful songs I've heard recently. Life Light. I'll put the description in the box below, but what I can tell you this much it is adoring to hear. It is, oh my god, I cannot believe how beautiful this sounds. And when you hear it, you're going like, oh, oh my god. Based so what it is is that there's a new force. I wanted to say that it was Taboo from uh, from Smash Brothers Brawl from the Subspace Emissary, but I don't want to hold my breath. I think this is going to be a new villain. That's going to that's going to be this powerhouse. I mean, he was already proven a powerhouse when he took out everyone but Kirby. Oh, Kirby! I know what you're sitting on my shirt. I can get the, there he is. Right there. But anyway. That being said, I am very much looking forward to Smash Brothers Ultimate. If you're a fan of this, if you're a fan of these kind of games, get it now. Or, well, you'll pre order it now. If you don't have a Switch, get switched up. Get it together. It's going to be a Christmas gift everyone's going to enjoy. Trust me.